better quality food this fish gets, the better it will taste. Get your munchies on because you're watching it, Taste Buds. Hi, welcome to Taste Buds. So today we're here in Wan Chai because we're heading towards The Optimist. It's a restaurant that does grilling really well and today we'll be grilling fish. I have no clue how to do it. I don't know how to deal with fish and we're going to be learning about it. So let's go. Uh, I picked up a yellow cooker um, at the wet market to ask the chef whether this fish is good for grilling. This fish is really commonly seen in Chinese cuisine, but I honestly don't know what makeup a fish needs to have in order to make it suitable for grilling. I showed Chef Anthony the fish I got. By the way, this is Anthony Roy. He is the executive chef at the restaurant, serving northern Spanish cuisine. Wow! It's fresh water, yeah? yeah? I can tell. And that's not good? Uh, no. Okay. Well, Chef Anthony did not approve of the choice of fish. He said a fish this small will dry up when grilled, and the river fish eat a lot of dirt from the river floor. Instead, we'll be grilling a sole fish, a wild fish caught from the Atlantic. Chef Anthony rips off the skin completely instead of descaling it, since the scales on the sole fish are too small, and descaling it would crumble the fish. He then sprinkles some salt and pepper, and pan sears the fish for three to four minutes. Why did we need to pan sear it before throwing it into the oven? The searing, yeah. it keeps the juices in. Okay. So you, you basically seal the skin, yeah. avoiding the juices from coming out. Then we head over to the Jasper oven. Chef Anthony controls this oven manually by opening or closing the oven door, depending on whether he needs a higher or lower temperature. People's mistake is to start grilling when the fire is on. You don't start grilling until the fire is off. The source of heat is as important as the food. So depending on the heat source you have, you will get one result or another. Spain, we do have like a wood cutting competitions in the north. They, they do cut tons of trees yearly. So they end up coming up with a competition. And yeah, all that charcoal has to go somewhere. So this is sold later to the asadors. Asadors were houses back in the days where people used to bring their own meat to cook it and take it back home. So the guy who was owning the, the asador was taking a fee of each piece of meat that was coming in. For the garlic sauce that is poured onto the fish towards the end, the oil and chopped garlic go into the pan first. And then you have the wine, which gives you the acidity yeah. to cut the fattiness of the oil. After the pan is taken off the heat, chopped red chilies are thrown in. My tongue can just feel how soft and pillowy the fish is. Um, but it's so nice because it's been pan seared um, before we threw it in the oven. So there's this contrast with um, a very like salty and garlicky um, kind of uh, top, top on it. With between the meat and uh, not the skin but the outside part, uh, there's just a really good mix of flavors. Make sure you follow us on social media. See you next week.